In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create your own Buddy Boss platform add-on, which will allow you to extend a Buddy Boss platform with your own settings and options. So in here, you can see our sample add-on to show developers how to add their own settings into Buddy Boss platform. And if I click settings, it takes me into Buddy Boss integrations add-on. And this is a custom settings area that's been added by my plugin. I can also go into settings. And if I scroll down, you'll see that there's this custom meta box added. So this is allowing me to actually extend the general settings with my own options. And throughout this tutorial, I'll show you how to do that to extend any of our existing components. So before we get started, it's worth noting that Buddy Boss platform itself is now available on GitHub, which means you can clone the repository from GitHub. And if you're a developer, you can come here to contribute patches, translations, report issues, etc. And if you go over here to creating add-on plugins, this is giving you an introduction to the plugin I'm about to show you. So I could click read documentation. And then from here, we have documentation explaining how to customize this plugin. And we can also download the source code to the plugin right here. For the rest of this tutorial, I'm actually gonna go step by step and show you how to customize the plugin. I'm gonna assume that you know how to develop and how to use GitHub, etc. You can go here and clone or download the repository. And then from there, you can follow along. Okay, so here I have a code editor with the plugin where I'm gonna be make making code edits. And then over here I have our wiki from GitHub. And then here the plugin is actually loading in my BuddyBoss platform instance. So you'll see the first thing it tells you that it requires BuddyBoss platform version 1.2.6. That's because that version added the hooks that are needed for doing this stuff. So the plugin has a check in it already to make sure that BuddyBoss is activated and that it's 1.2.6 or higher. We'll get to that in a little bit. So let's start with the first item, changing the plugin's name. So of course you wanna make the plugin your own. So here, BuddyBoss platform add-on.php is the loader file. So I'm gonna rename this. All right, so just for fun, I'll pretend I have a company called MicPress, and this is the new MicPress add-on. So we're gonna change the name, change the website, and we're going to change the text domain. I'll just make mine MicPress. So, if I go into the plugins directory, now Mike press add on is the name of my plugin. We mentioned here that you're going to need to change the name of your plugin in the notices that check which version of platform you're running. So in here, I'm going to look for this function and where it says buddy boss platform add on, I'm going to change it to say Mike press. So I'll just show you what that does. If I disable BuddyBoss platform, I get this warning, Mike press requires BuddyBoss platform to work. And if BuddyBoss platform, if the version on your client's site is less than 1.2.6, you'll get a different notice when BuddyBoss platform is activated saying that they need to update BuddyBoss platform to work with Mike press. So you'll wanna change those text instances so they are correct. All right, so let's go ahead and re-enable BuddyBoss platform. And then we're gonna go to the next step, which is to change the name of the plugin itself. So I'm just gonna rename the root folder to MicPress, and I'm gonna rename the loader file to MicPress also. And then in the text editor, I've come back in here and you can see we've renamed those two loader files. This is very important. Every plugin that WordPress has needs to have a unique name. So let's go back here and go to the plugins directory. We can see it's been automatically disabled because the folder names changed. So we can just come back here and re-enable it. All right, so let's move on to function names. So this is extremely important that you change the prefix and all your function names. If you don't, then you're likely to have conflicts with other WordPress plugins, which will cause fatal errors. So you can go ahead. We've made the function name very obvious, my plugin, all caps, underscore. So you can just do a find and replace across the whole directory. And that will fix that. And you'll notice that in style.css, it changed a class name as well that is referenced. That class name is used for the icons and the settings, and you can see that is discussed here. Let's pause for a moment and just make sure we didn't break anything. 
go settings. All right, after a hard refresh, our icon is back with the new class name. Moving on is the text domain. So in here we have the text domain mic press. So we're using the text domain mic press. You're going to want to replace all of your text domains with your new text domain. You have to do this carefully throughout all the PHP files. This will allow your plugin to be available for translation later on. All right, with all that out of the way, we can move on to the fun stuff, which is editing the actual plugin options. So you can see the plugin by default dumps your integrations into BuddyBoss integrations and then the name of the integration. And this is where we expect you to put most of your options. So you'll want to rename add-on to the name of your integration. So go into integration, bodybossintegration.php. And then these areas, you wanna edit the slug of the integrations tab and the title. So I'm gonna make the slug mic press. And the tab title will be mic press, like the name of my fake company here. All right, so we got this error because the slug changed. So let me just click here and click back so that we are now loading our new slug. And then we also wanna be aware that if I go into the plugins list, we've added a settings link here and that is now going to be broken. So in the same file, look for this and where it says bp dash add on, the bp dash stays, the word add on changes to our new slug. So let me refresh. And now we can confirm that when I click that, it takes me here. And then to edit this content, we go into functions.php. We can see here, I could rename this option. So, and you can find this title and rename it. Now this option here is a dummy option. It doesn't actually do anything. So that's on you. When you start building your plugin, of course, you'll create as many options in here as you want. And I'll show you in a little bit how to change the logo, but let me first go into our additional component settings. So the purpose of this is if you want to extend our existing components with some additional options. So by default, we're dumping a meta box into BuddyBoss settings general, and here it is but we can move that actually anywhere. So let's say you didn't want to extend general settings. You actually want to extend group settings with a few group options. Here in functions.php, look for this. And in here we have the reference of the different ones also. And here we have a nice table showing you it. So I can actually change that to there to make it group register fields. Now, if I come back here and refresh, Our meta box is gone. And if I go to groups, it has been moved to here. And likewise, I could go there and rename this to mic press group settings. All right, so the final thing is I'm gonna show you how to change the icons. So here in style.css, this first one is referencing the icon that's in the integrations tab. And of course, if you change this, it will change the class name. So you need to update that. And then this one is referencing the component settings icon. So let's just go into the integration settings. Let's say we want to change this feather. So we give you also tools as an icon that's available. You might need to clear your cache and do a hard refresh. So there's tools. Let's say you want to use some other icon. If you go to this URL on Font Awesome, this is where most of the icons we're using come from. You click download Font Awesome free for the web. And then when you get in here, you'll open up SVGs solid. And you can see there's a ton of icons in here to choose from and you pick whichever icon you like, and then put that into this images folder and just change 
the icon you're referencing. And then if it's on the integrations tab, most likely you'll want to use your logo the same way we have for the integrations that come with platform. We've got this nice app boss logo and a learn dash logo. When you're in your plugin, you'll probably create a custom icon that's in color and you can put that icon in images and reference that image. And you might need to adjust the background size of it a bit to make it sit nicely within the icon. And then for settings that you add to extend components, the best thing to do is to use some of those icons that come with Font Awesome so it matches the style. And then let me just tell you one more thing is if you're not planning to use these add-on settings, then you should remove them because otherwise what's gonna happen is you're gonna add your integration settings, but when you go to the component settings, you're gonna have this kind of dummy meta box sitting here that doesn't do anything. You don't want that in a plugin you're releasing, so you'll wanna remove that if you're not going to do it. So to do that, just go into functions.php and look for this function. Of course, it's renamed with yours. So it's gonna be like that. And these three functions that are all sitting here in a row, we can remove or comment out. Okay, and if I do that, then when I come here, it's gone completely. And all that we're left with is the options that are in the integrations area. And then we also have this article about requiring BuddyPress. So this is already in the plugin. There's not really anything you need to do with it, except if you already have your own plugin and you don't wanna follow all this, all you wanna do is just require BuddyBoss platform is activated in your existing plugin. You can go ahead and take this text snippet right here and load that in the proper place in your plugin, obviously replacing the prefix with your plugin prefix, and that will automatically add the check with the error notice about whether or not BuddyBoss platform is activated. And you'll of course wanna change this text to the name of your plugin. Okay, so that's everything for this tutorial. Our goal is to make it easy for you to extend the platform for your own plugins that you want to sell or build for your clients or what have you. And that's why we're doing all this.